So I decided to leave the West Texas Intermediate apart to make a small case study on why do we use this type of crude oils. Well, first things first, the problem with the crude oils around the world, you already know, is that they have several different uh, physical and chemical properties. So it's kind of hard to compare between each other. And especially because they have several properties which are important for us, not only one. So we started to define this, for instance, as a benchmark. What's a benchmark is nothing more than a comparison. So for instance, when you go to the supermarket, you know that you pay certain amount for, let's say, a beer. And you know this is a good beer, average beer, has certain content of alcohol, and you expect something about it. So if someone were to sell you the same similar beers to the three times that price, you will see that if it doesn't have anything different from the this one right here, then you will prefer this one. Why? Because we're talking about commodities. So this beer is cheaper than this one, which has similar conditions. So why not stick to the same one? But let's say that, that this is a craft beer, has different flavors, and that's why it's three times expensive. So that's how we define the benchmark. You have something to compare with and you see why this is three times expensive than this one. So you go for the expensive version because you're expecting something premium, something similar in that they are beers, but that they are worth paying an extra. The same is true for the oils. You gotta have a benchmark and ensure that the market sticks to the value of here. So for instance, we talk about software content, we talk about the density or a IPI. And the West Texas Intermediate is actually low in density, not that extremely low, and also low in software content. So that's an advantage. Actually, the New York Mercantile Exchange has this benchmark and it is a commodity, a base commodity. Talking about this, this is the price on both the Brent and West Texas Intermediate. As you can see here from 2015, we have similar prices. And before 2011, we had similar prices. So what happened between these years? Why did the Brent increase in price? Even though it is not that sweet, let's check out. The West Texas Intermediate has 0.24% sulfur versus the branch which has 0.33% sulfur. So try to find something that relates the Brent and West Texas Intermediate between the year 2011 to the 2015. Okay, so West Texas Intermediate is refined mostly in the Midwest and Gulf Coast regions in the USA. So Midwest, if you have USA, something like this. Gulf Coast here and Midwest something around here. 